obviously what we talk about on the show here, like, isn't, isn't financial advice, but, you know, AJ being kind of like the portfolio manager um, at the firm would love to kind of get your take and, you know, understand what you're seeing. Yeah. Yeah. In terms of the broader crypto market, I, I, I personally feel that we bottomed already. Uh, just, you know, looking at Bitcoin and ETH, all coins are sort of their own, their own beast. Right. And they sort of follow Bitcoin and ETH later once the rallies start. But in terms of Bitcoin and ETH, and I'm just, I look over in this direction because that's where my, my price charts are over here. But I, I don't think we're ever going to see what 15,000 on Bitcoin or a thousand dollars on ETH ever again. So that period in like November from the FTX crash. And then basically Jan 1, first week of the year, we just took off from there, erased FTX gain, uh, losses, and have taken a few other steps up in, into new trading zones. I, I would be so shocked if we ever went back down to those those lows again. So that's not to say, hey, this is it. You know, buy now and it's up in a straight line. I don't think we're there yet, but we're past the bottom. And, and we're going to be just a little bit range bound. And, you know, for me, I'm like, find your entry points. Yeah. Because we're getting, we're, I think we're closer to the next rally than we are from the bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's really, and what makes you kind of get that feeling or, you know, what are the things that you look at to kind of get you to say, hey, you know, I think it's time that, you know, we start participating in a more meaningful way. Yeah. So I, I sort of, you know, all trading is an art really, even when you're quantitative based, uh, you can just run some quant strategies. But other than that, I like to do a, sort of a melting pot of, of all of them. So I use a lot of TA uh, and the technical analysis is, I mean, it, it's turning bullish at this point, right? When you look at high time frames, weekly, monthly charts, you know, your, your RSIs, your stochastics, your MACDs, like everything on the high time frames is turning away from the bottom. And it's looking like what it looked like in the previous cycles where it starts to turn. Um, also, you know, other than TA, just t your typical four-year crypto cycle. Mm. I mean, nothing's ever going to be an exact repeat of history, right. but, it, but it does rhyme, right? And we do tend to be in these four-year cycles. And it's amazing how similar the four-year cycles play out over and over again, yet people's psychology overrides sort of sort of the simple cycles that we seem to have with the happenings. So, you know, which is, I guess, only on Bitcoin now, but, you know, I have my Bitcoin happening clock up. I think it was as of yesterday, we were exactly 365 days to the next happening. Oh, wow. Which has been roughly the best time to buy mm -hmm. if you want to buy Bitcoin, which is about a year away from the next happening because then everyone starts getting excited. They, right. they FOMO in, even though the happening hasn't happened yet. Yeah. 